music, so I'm not sure how how loud it might get. Alright, let's go. Hey clapping, da hello. In the deed club in the house life. Nice and peach be nice. The VPN's doing better now. Alright, we'll see what they're gonna show. there. Let's see. A good flying. Nice, nice. Doing good, man. Doing good. Um, chillin', uh, we chillin'. I'm about to watch some of them announcements. Three, two, boog. Hello, my name is Kelsey and welcome to our 2023 Annapurna Interactive Showcase. We are so excited to be here and even more thrilled to show you what we have in store for this year. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll share our latest game reveals, spotlight two new All developer right. partnerships, and give an exciting first look at the debut game from our internal development team. Once again, a huge thank you to our Annapurna community mm, and partners see. across the globe for your continued support. Let's get started. Well, let's see what you have there, um. A ball bow on them, son. A loaded eye and the laser eyes. Uh. I have been asked to approach you about a project related to events in 1847, 1963, 2014, and one happening in the very near future. At least two individuals in Europe are confirmed to be involved. The ties with several international contractors have been identified. The financing of the venture has been traced to a US-based corporation. You can expect to be contacted by them soon. They will possibly hire an actor to communicate with you through a video. This video is designed to gauge your interest in interpreting patterns. Patterns, <laughs> See clapping, eh? patterns, patterns, and solving puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Because Time to go and get some giga teeth the there. They may also want to test your receptiveness to unconventional concepts. To gain your trust, this person might offer their unsolicited advice or ask you questions about your dreams and memories, but you will likely never see the face of the person speaking. My personal advice is not to play along with their strange game. You're being led around in a maze of deceptions. Think back on when they first tried to contact you. The Giga didn't. Do you remember? Do you remember the maze? 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 A V to Dink. In the D there. You got the dog there. It's some cryptic shit. My Reddit is audited already. The Copenhagen. Oh, the cocoon. Eh? That one is pretty nice. That one is quite interesting. I most anticipated in the game. I mean, not sure about most anticipated, but sure is very nice. Silence. This one's gonna be quite a uh, quite dang too probably. Huh? The worlds inside worlds and everything. I wonder how hardcore they will go with that concept. I wonder um Let's 
September. I see. A lush well photography sim. Recover. Bug. Nice secret, nice. Almost freedom, eh? Yeah, this weekend also gonna be uh, quite already tomorrow evening gonna go to the summer house and everything. After the stream. Good day, hello. Until on Sunday evening I'm gonna return. See you Monday I'm gonna be a lighter again. Well tomorrow too, of course. Tomorrow and then Monday. A lot of grass touching. I gotta use that summer well then. Eh? Prepare for uh, the travels and stuff too. I need them. I need them. This is a TIG demo. You could give a good game as well. Just getting started. I mean, show Cocoon, which we already kind of saw before. That one's good. But that one is indeed very good. Eh? No, I'm just gonna be some sort of like photo simulator. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, what's the goal? Eh? But I mean, I guess just like taking photos. Obviously. Like you told them, son. Where's Pony? His games. <laughs> アニと一緒に山に登ってたっていう記憶がすごい強くて結構自然と多く振り合っていた子供時代だったと思います。三橋明です。ひろこと一緒にこのマルミツゲームズをやっています。マルミツゲームズでアーティストをしている椎野ひ
The insane deep posing simulator. I see. Bed control simulator, yeah, more. More of those. Uh. man a flock a game update that sounds familiar <laughs> the show about yeah, hello i'm richard hogg and i'm one of the people Roo. who made flock i'm the art guy and i'm pip war i do the narrative design and some game design so where are you pip i'll do a call ah oh, there you are i'm coming over Flock is a game about exploring a big wild place on the back of a bird. You find creatures, you charm them, and they join your flock. It's also a game where you can just hang out with your friends. Pip, you've got loads in your flock. The boomerang ones are the cosmets. I have a few varieties. Then I have a thrip and a big henry. He's the one that looks kind of like a cross between a cuttlefish and a sausage. What's that blue creature you've got in your flock? Ah, that's a slumbering rustic. We can go and find one if you like. So we're taking Pip across the grasslands to find her a slumbering rustic for her flock. There's one in here. Can you hear it? A journey with a twist. Over by this pond in this little cup. I'll have to move slowly so I don't spook it. Maybe we shouldn't wake it up, but... <laughs> I'm gonna charm it. To charm this rustic, Pip has to position herself at just the right distance from it. Not too close or too far away. And her bird and the flock will sing to the creature to charm it. Look at that. I'm going to call her Cupzilla. Pip, check out my sheep. Look at them, little munchers. In flock, you have some flying sheep to look after. You leave them to graze, they get woolly, and then you use the wool to make clothes. Did I tell you I made Dead a sheep? Son. I crocheted it. Oh, I love it. Look, 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 look. I found one of the fruit things. Oh, yeah. I'm going to charm one. Here we go. It's a sunset sprug. We didn't find it because it wasn't sunset last time. We were looking in broad daylight. I love these frogmouth plebes. They just scream in such a pleasing way. Can you see me over here? Oh, yeah, look at that. I've got my glow hey, so buddies with me. A little react, man. The bonus day. reaction. I really like when you're skimming over the top of the fog and you're you sort of going this. up and down like you're on the high seas. Oh, wow. Have you seen these before? No. It's a mother and her little calf. They're singing. Let's join in. <laughs> this has been such a lovely day. Let's do it again soon. Flock, what will you find out there? Hey, be sure. That's some cute stuff indeed, eh? The game pass too. A ghost bike.
Team Thriller. Finally. Sorta. Sort of. yeah, I mean, soul shading is like somewhat, I would say, easy but easier to make, so yeah. I used quite a lot. Glass Revolver and developers. Basically every day, if I've hit like a roadblock or if I just need some sort of inspiration to kind of like move on with something, I'll just hop in my car and drive like five minutes over to, to Roger Williams Park. Having like no literal walls, I, I feel like I'm able to think in like a lot more abstract ways. I'm Jacob Williams. I'm the head and creative director of Everything Last Everything looks the same. We're making well, I mean, wouldn't say exactly the same. It's all about the nuance, I guess. I've always been drawn to kind of the outdoors and, and nature in general. The reasons why like certain aspects of nature are the way they are. That had definitely carried over into my first game, Ida, and extremely so in We Kill Monsters. I'd be like sitting like outside the school, like waiting like for my mom to come pick me up. And I would just constantly like sketch um, an open world game where you could like camp and stuff. You can camp in and we kill monsters. It's like a core part of the game. Um, so a lot of those things kind of stuck, uh, stuck with me. I went to film school doing like the nine to five and then coming home and then doing another, you know, five, six hours of film related stuff. Eventually uh, it just became apparent that I was depressed. I realized I was like, something, you know, needs to change. Like I can't. I can't keep doing this. Okay, well, I'm gonna just basically do like a restart on my adult life. So I moved back home and it was there where I started Ida. This is Ida, this is the, my first game that I had made, which honestly probably shares like a lot of DNA with We Kill Monsters. It was probably 2018, I think, where I actually started on We Kill Monsters. But at the time it was supposed to be an extremely lo-fi Monster Hunter style game. And then at some point I just, I was like, everything I'm trying to do, I could just do it in 3D and it would like just more fully realize what I'm kind of envisioning in my head. Most people, rightfully so, were like, you've been working on this game for a very long time. You shouldn't just switch it to 3D. You're basically just starting over. I didn't want to work on the 3D version for like three months and be like, oh, okay, this is like too much and like go back to the 2D version. So I kind of like uh, thought about it for like a week. Um, and then uh, to make my decision, I, I went and I deleted the 2D project so that I didn't have a choice. My thought process was, if it takes, you know, eight years to make, I'll just do it on my own. Might as well just do what I think is best. This symbol, it's basically made its way into all of my games. The meaning to me is, uh, you know, it's okay to restart. Sometimes it might actually be pretty good indeed, eh? To get a bit of a restart. Pencil then. Now oh, available natively. Let's see. And some more platforms for this one now. Maybe 
see an updated other version still. I see. Was it really good? I see. A bounty star. Hi, I'm Ben Ruiz, the founder and creative director of Dino God and the designer of Bounty Star. Bounty Star is a game about a broken but powerful ex-soldier, now a bounty hunter, in a post-post-apocalyptic American desert. Post Her name post -apocalyptic. is Clem, and she's trying to start a new life in a place far from home, traumatized from a profound mistake she made at the end of her military career. One half of the gameplay experience is a third-person action game shooting mechanics in which Clem is bringing in her marks, dead or alive, in her customizable infantry. Throughout the experience, the players will obtain all kinds of exciting mech weaponry and utilities and use them against increasingly bigger and badder foes. In the other half of the gameplay experience, the protagonist cleans up her life and develops her bounty hunting operation in the safety of her newly acquired home on the edge of the game world, a rundown pre-apocalypse gas armored, station. Armored core is in shambles, yeah. The, the player will learn how to be an effective bounty hunter in this scarce and dangerous world in which self-sustaining ways of life are absolutely vital. She will grow and obtain food and use it to cook meals that enhance her focus in different ways. Yeah, bro, that, 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 I'm not sure, dude. That she idea. will obtain scraps and crafting materials and use them to build devices that enhance both her personal and combat endeavors. I can even just like focus she on, you know, like good uh, visited by all manner of characters, gameplay all on the mech and everything. In her current phase of life. Just say enough Bounty is Star's enough. Bounty about a human pushing out inner demons, rebuilding herself and her personal environment, and relearning what it's like to be a force for good in a place that very badly needs it. As a gameplay use the boulders gateway, what exactly? Engaging, fun, modern action mechanics that many types of players will be able to enjoy, but not without being challenged. Thanks so much for watching. Bounty Star is coming in early 2024. Ah, move to beginning of August. I see, I see. Escaping the toad, yeah, seems like it. Stray platform update. More platforms now. Four. Get that forty seventy before Todd. <laughs> the writing award, yeah. Totally the best writing out there. That 47th indeed, eh? yeah, that's plenty of time, I guess. Should be doable. A thirsty suitors, man. This one is already like for a couple of years, I think. We are ob observing on the show, is it? Idea to go home. I thought it was already they like out or something. You, Can you blame them? You're way too stubborn to just give up. Dad, stop being so sensible. <laughs> Timber Hills, our hometown. Full of gossiping aunties, parental expectations, and your past mistakes. Hope you're ready for some long delayed emotional catharsis. Because your exes are looking for revenge. Or maybe a date. Are we flirting? Or are we fighting? Why not both? Her thighs. They're so. Powerful. 
So, I have to make up with my first love, find out what's going on with the creepy skate cult run by a bear mascot, win my mother's approval, yes, he's and I see. Who's avoiding me, all before the most dangerous battle of all. My mother is coming to Timber Hills. The women in your family, they're all terrifying. I'm doomed. My advice to you, Jala, die young. Good to date already. Right About time. November 2nd, I see. Acceptable record. Can we game pass to even? Now, Buenos Aires. Yeah, it looks quite dank. It looks quite Welcome dank. Welcome back to Storyteller. This one got Our more platforms now. A free update with all new content. <laughs> Welcome new characters into the fold. Some full of mischief. Some warm the heart. Puzzle through new scenarios with new challenges. And while you're at it, add a little chaos into the mix. Explore the possibilities. Yeah, this one's pretty dang. <laughs> your imagination. This one's pretty dang, but apparently it was quite short for the price. So, like, it's really nice. That's on. And also, it's gonna be a mobile tool. Storyteller. And it Our will be. Is coming but he is really, look, like, really dang artistically and everything. But not everyone was able to uh, justify the price. See, see, see. Yeah, like two hour game, basically. Hey everyone, my name There's is Chelsea Inside Hash Studio. and I've worked alongside Annapurna for a long time. Starting with What Remains of Edith Finch and later Solar Ash, and now as director of Annapurna's first internally developed game. Over the past year, we've put together a wonderful group of people and have been collaborating on an exciting new project. I never imagined I'd have a chance to make a game set in this iconic universe, and there's so much more we want to tell you. But for now, we're thrilled to share this announcement trailer. Take a look. Lots of people lost things in the blackout. I was lucky. I just lost a job. But now, they want me back. Picking through the pieces. Being someone else. In places that no longer exist. That's where you find me. Searching. In the land of the dead. Damn son. A Blade Runner. 2033. Well, at least they clear with the release date already. Not that long left. Thanks again for tuning in to watch this year's Annapurna Interactive Showcase. Still we faster than Elder Scrolls 6? Yeah, no. See you all next year. Yeah, noise. Noise. Yeah, I was kind of expecting there will be a little more like the big stuff. The main game looks interesting, but like, dude, why like cooking, crafting, like, uh, I mean, why are we always trying to like, you know, stretch the game with that stuff? I don't know, maybe people already expect that from the game. I don't know. Like, why? That was nice with the, what was the unpacking or something, right? In the interview where they just kind of like, 
you know, like, cut everything that is not necessary for the main thing and just, like, focus on that and just, you know, polish what you have and the core. Like, why do you need to get all those extras? Eh? And more mechanics, and more, and more crafting, and more open worlding and everything. Like, come on, man. It looks already kind of like a fun game. Why do they need to add more of that stuff? Why? Yeah, like cocoon gonna be great. Well, cocoon we already kind of seen before, but it is nice. It is nice. Yeah, it is a nice game, but it's only two hours. Yeah, basically, and that one is kind of short. That one is very short. And the price price is not really justifying it. Not really justifying for some people, I guess, which I can get behind. I can get get I can get behind that for sure. Especially after next fest, when you play some demos and that are, you know, like three hours and then the more long, and then you get something that you pay like twenty or thirty bucks for and it's like shorter than a demo, like come on man. That's a bit sad. That's a bit sad. But I mean so it's, uh, it's quite beautiful and a lot of effort put in, so I guess it's better than some cell shading stuff after all, right? So I can see that. I can see that, but you know, the wallet, the wallet is doing the talking there after all. Now we'll see what's uh, with Blade Runner there, what it's gonna be with Blade Runner. How the Steam sale is going, them son. Time to not buy anything. Pog. Very pog. All right, so yeah, tomorrow, 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 uh, the uh, gonna be black, eight thirty AM CEST as always. Uh, some Dune, some more Dune in the morning. Uh, some coffee gaming news, and then first to Friday we'll see. I'm still like I'm kind of waiting for maybe response on some stuff. Like I'm gonna figure out in the morning pretty much what it's gonna be. I'm gonna get some uh, games going for sure. There's like one other four act strategy. I could pick that one maybe. We will see, we will see for the first look Friday, something fresh there, something fresh, but maybe something else, we'll see how it will go.